For the past months, we have been busy analyzing um, um, a highly sophisticated uh, operation that we deem the mask. The reason why we're calling it the mask is uh, because um, of a uh, word the attackers use uh, in some of the modules, and that word is careto. Careto uh, is a Spanish uh, slang term for face, you know, ugly face, or it can also mean uh, something like mask. So this is why we're calling it the mask. Uh, this is uh, one of the most advanced um, um, operations we have seen so far. Uh, sometimes we like to think of it, you know, as a grandmaster of APTs, because um, uh, it's kind of weird uh, that even between APT groups, which obviously means uh, advanced persistent threats, uh, we have some which are not so advanced, but then we have some which are very advanced. So since we don't have like uh, very advanced persistent threats, we like to call it, you know, the the grandmaster of, uh, of of APDs. And what are some of the characteristics of this this specific group? What what kind of uh, organizations were they going after, and what were they trying to uh, steal? Um, the mask uh, has been active for six, seven years, based on the compilation timestamps uh, from the modules that we were able to recover. Uh, their focus uh, is uh, governments, diplomatic institutions, uh, research companies, um, financial institutions, um, uh, trust funds, uh, research organizations. Um, so uh, the uh, targets of this entity, you know, they're pretty, I say that uh, they're pretty uh, wide and multiple. Um, we have seen the mosque also targeting um, activists. Um, in general, it's, uh, it's let's say, a kind of a classic uh, cyber espionage operation, uh, but executed in, uh, at the level of professionalism that we very rarely see uh, in this, uh, let's say, kind of operations.